it's Christmas, and that only means one thing. Lots and lots of Christmas lights. In this short episode, we have a look at the lights that are put in the windows, and the lights are put on the tree. And of course, they star on top of the tree. And here we have a close-up of the star. Basically, it's 10 addressable LEDs connected to one of my controllers. This was actually one I got after Christmas a couple of years ago for to reduce price and had the idea of gluing addressable LEDs to it and using some thin enamel copper wire to make the wiring invisible. And with a bit of acrylic paint, blended the paint into the gold effect and yeah, it don't look too bad. But well, as you can see, fully addressable, fully controllable by WLED. And this can go on its own sequence. And here we have the tree. This is using the 200 LEDs that I shown on a previous video. And the effects over 100 LEDs are absolutely phenomenal. That's just using the reverse function in the segment on WLED. So you can either have the effect traveling down the tree, traveling up the tree, or if you wanted, you could split it into two segments and have the effects splitting from the center or coming in from the top and bottom, depending on how you like your effects. So I'm just cycling through some effects on the WLED webpage, just to give you an idea of how it looks. And that's the other um, channel switched on again is sequenced by my node red controller and we've got the star on as well which again is sequenced so I think the effect over with 200 LEDs is far better than the 100 LEDs So the tree isn't decorated as you can see. This was basically set up this afternoon. Just to um, check out how 200 LEDs looks and I think it's pretty good. There's plenty of coverage over the tree and the effects make it look amazing. Now we have a view from the front of the house so this is the four standalone controllers in action. So that's 150 LEDs in the front window. That's 100 LEDs in the top window. That's 50 LEDs in that window. And it's 50 in that window, but trimmed down to 39. So it doesn't overshoot. So basically all synchronized together. This is just using the WLED synchronization function. These are all synchronized on my node red system. So different patterns every hour coming on at three, going off at 11. But this is just going through some of the patterns. So you can see they synchronize up quite nicely. Thanks for watching this short episode. I'm in the 
fourth and final episode hopefully we've got some decorations and some other lights see you in the next episode